food, baby. I love food and I know that you love food too. Today, another Italian episode of food and drink. This was a suggestion from one of my viewers, spaghetti carbonara. And this is the original recipe. It has guanciale, which is the bacon, Italian bacon, then pecorino, which is similar to parmesan, but made out of sheep's milk and egg is inside a bit of pepper and actually not much so first you fry the bacon the guanciale and then you add the spaghetti to it and then you add like the mixture of egg and pecorino and you can put salt but i want to try it first because the bacon is salty and the pecorino as well and then i only added some black pepper freshly ground and yeah basically that's it so super simple and for sure very nice and as a drink i have a chianti Actually, uh, someone recommended Amarone and Barolo, but these were super expensive here in my German supermarket, in a big one, and I was so unlucky with red wine in the past year, and these were like from 20 years onwards. So I didn't want to risk it again. I have to go to a nice wine shop or something in the future, and I will definitely try these. I'd love to try the Amarone and Barolo, but today I went with a Chianti, nine euros for this bottle Chianti Classico and I've also never had Chianti so this will be nice for sure Contessa di Rada maybe you know this one so I hope this wine will be nice I don't have a problem with white wine but red wine I was really unlucky that's why I don't want to risk it to spend so much money so let's start because you have to eat the spaghetti carbonara when it's fresh and let's go Mmm, so psyched to be honest. Smells so good here, the bacon. It smelled already very good, the guanciale. Some kids screaming outside. And, mmm. This is amazing. So I did spaghetti carbonara once in my life. I really loved it, but I've never done it since. I don't know why, because it's amazing. The egg covers the spaghetti nicely with the cheese. Mm. Very nice. Black pepper is awesome with it and it doesn't need additional salt. The salt from the guanciale and pecorino is sufficient. There we go. Mm. The wine will be perfect with this. Nice. Amazing. So this dish is flavorful, fantastic, typical for Italian cuisine. Not many ingredients, but Good quality and it's amazing. I would give the spaghetti carbonara 90 points. So let's try the Chianti. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not amazing though. When I go with someone to the supermarket for red wine, then they just grab a random bottle and it's always amazing. But if I go to the supermarket and grab a random bottle, it's all right. This wine here is fine, but I expected a bit more. So the Chianti Classico Contessa di Rada gets 70 points. Still okay, but man, I wish I had some amazing wine with this amazing dish. Nevertheless, pretty good. So there you go. 
Italian episode of food and drink. Sooner or later, I'll try the Amarone. Sooner or later, I'll try pasta bolognese here and it will be amazing for sure. So yeah, definitely do this at home and let me know what other Italian dishes that are maybe not so well known around the world I should try and comment, like or dislike, subscribe of course to my channel. See ya!